On this first Sunday of September, we join together virtually to celebrate communion together. Our focus today is on the truth that Jesus is the great overcomer. Through his death and resurrection, our Lord Jesus has overcome the devil, overcome the world, overcome sin, and even death itself. Through faith in our Lord Jesus, we share in all that he has accomplished. Through our union with Christ, we are overcomers and can face all the challenges that the devil and the world have to offer against our faith. So when we come to remembering the death of Jesus, we remember that it was on the cross that he defeated the powers of sin, death and the devil. On the cross, Jesus is an overcomer. So let us rejoice that when we partake of the bread and of the cup, that we are sharing in the victory of Christ. Because Jesus overcomes, we share in that victory through our faith in him to rescue and redeem us. In preparation to eat and drink, let us examine our lives for faith and obedience. If we are lacking in either, whether faith or obedience, we need to repent and confess that reality to Jesus. If there's any kind of sin in your life today that needs to be confessed, do so now, because you have this assurance from Jesus that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So in preparation for us to partake together, let us have a few moments of silent reflection. On the night before Jesus was crucified, he celebrated a Passover meal with his disciples. And at that meal, he instructed them to remember him whenever they would share that meal again. So let us celebrate the Lord's Supper and remember the giving of his body and the shedding of his blood as he instructed. Let us pray together. Lord Jesus, as we break bread and drink the cup together today, we remember your great sacrifice on the cross at Calvary. Not only do we remember your suffering and pain, but we remember what your death accomplishes. We remember that your death brings us forgiveness, reconciliation, the guarantee of everlasting life, and your promise that with you we are overcomers. Lord Jesus, we humble ourselves before you and can only express our gratitude and thankfulness for your mercy and grace. We remember that it is because of your love for the world that you came and that you offered up your life for us. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for the bread, the symbol of your broken body given for us. We give you thanks for the cup, the symbol of your shed blood of the new covenant and the forgiveness of sins. Lord Jesus, be glorified as we eat and drink together as we celebrate your victory. Amen. On the night Jesus was betrayed and handed over, he took the bread, and after giving thanks to God, he broke it and gave it to his disciples. He said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup, and after giving thanks, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, remember me. So as you make ready to eat and drink together, have the elements ready, 
and if they are now distributed, we will eat and drink together. The body of our Lord Jesus given for you, we now eat in remembrance of Jesus and his victory. Eat and be thankful. The blood of our Lord Jesus shed for you. We now drink in remembrance of Jesus and his victory. Drink and be thankful. As we now draw this time of celebrating the Lord's Supper to a close, I'm going to ask you to consider your own faithfulness to the Lord going forward as an overcomer in and through Christ. Let us pray. Father God, each time we share in this memorial meal, Lord, we recommit our lives, our hearts, our thoughts, our all to you. Fill and empower us with your Holy Spirit to live as overcomers in and through our Lord Jesus Christ in this present evil age. Help us to guard our faith in Christ. Help us to share the message of Christ faithfully as you give opportunity. We ask this, Father, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Christ. Amen. Bless you as you go into this week ahead and know that you, through Christ, are an overcomer and that you share in his victory on the cross.